Good morning people, it's Gino here from realeverydayenglish.com. Welcome back to another episode of um, Thoughts of a Native Speaker. Today I'm in a large um, kind of supermarket thing that sells all household goods and DIY. DIY is when you're um, working on your house at home. So you can see here we've got various garden tools in front of me. So we've got, we've got a spade. This is a spade and um, obviously you use a spade to dig. So you dig holes in the floor. That's, that's the main use of it, is to dig a hole and then fill the hole with whatever you want. When I was in the supermarket the other week, somebody asked me to um, read out all the, the price tags. So you can see the price on this is £7.92 pence, which is actually quite a bargain. It's quite cheap for a spade, that. And then we've got various types of spades. So you can see you've got like a, a flat edge spade. Then this one's got a point on it. So this is more pointed. It's got a point, makes it easier to dig. And at the side of them, you've got this, we call this a pitchfork. So this is a pitchfork. A pitchfork is used for turning over um, grass because it, it sticks into the grass easily due to the, due to the prongs. Each one of these is a prong. So that's one prong, two prong, three prong four prongs and this one's quite expensive compared to the other one so this one's uh, 24 pounds or 24 quid as we would say here in um, in Manchester 24 quid in, in England all of England we use the phrase quid and um, what else have we got here so we've got um, cultivators this is called a cultivator and again, this is for manipulating soil and ground before you plant plant things into it. Then we've got um, a pull weeder. So this pulls weeds out. You can see there's one there. Use this for pulling weeds. You just basically scrape all the weeds out of the floor. Then here we've got a, um, some variations of rakes. So this is a rake. Call it a rake. You can see that's one type of rake. We use these for, once you've cut the grass in your garden, you use the rake to um, kind of pull it all into a pile so then you can get rid of it. And then you can see there's some different kinds of rakes here. These ones are wider. Yeah, this one's made of plastic, but that one's metal. So this one's stronger. This is the stronger rake. It's made out of metal, but they're perfectly fine for grass as well, even though they're made out of plastic. Then we've got some more spades, different kinds, all different varieties. This one's more of a, um, a snow spade, have a snow shovel, it's for shoveling snow. What else we got? Let's have a look. Oh, we've got some um, down here, we've got, these are called Wellington boots. Obviously you use these when you're, um, when you're working in water and you don't want the water to get into your, into your socks and your feet and make them wet. We would wear, we would wear that. Uh, we would wear these. So yeah, they're called Wellington boots. Oh, um, here in um, in all of England, really, we call them wellies for short. So they're just, it's a pair of wellies. And the wellies are 13 pounds, it looks like. Yeah, so they're 13 quid. Uh, what else we got? Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. We've got, oh, some, some more different kinds of Wellington boots, wellies. These are for women, because they're pink. Uh, then we've got gardening gloves. So these are all different kinds of gloves for doing various garden tasks. You see the varying price, so that's nine quid for a pair of gloves. Nine quid. Then ones are a fiver, five quid, uh, two quid. So you can see it goes from everything from a pound. So that these ones are a quid, so they're really cheap. And they're like, um, the pattern on these is like camouflage. It's like a camouflage glove. Um, and they're only a pound, bargain. These ones are purple, so they're purple gloves, green. And these ones are white and red, and they've got flowers, like a floral pattern on them, but they're a fiver. All different kinds of gloves. This ki these kind of shoes we call Crocs. They're called Crocs for gardening. Um, personally, I think they're horrible <laughs> shoes. I wouldn't wear them, but that's up to the individual. And these are eight quid. Rabbit here for a pair of Crocs, if you ask me. What have we got here? We have, um, this is just some like cable or some, some string that you can use for tying plants to canes maybe, something like that. 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? There's not really a lot else here I can see that I can teach you some vocabulary with. So let's have a, a little walk around the corner, see what else we can see. Oh, we've got some chainsaws here. These are called chainsaws. So inside there, there's a blade and these are used for um, cutting down trees. So you can see there's all different kinds and I should imagine these are quite expensive. So these are um, 85 quid, yeah. 85 quid for that one. You can see on the side, petrol chainsaw. So it runs off petrol. Put petrol in there and then you can use them to chop down trees and so on and so forth. Um, these ones here are hedge, hedge trimmers. So we, we would use these for cutting, cutting hedges, trimming hedges down. You can see the blades there. So they'll um, move side to side and cross each other. And they're used for, for chopping bushes and, and tidying tidying bushes, things like that. What have we got here? Oh, we've got some um, pressure washers here. So these are, these are used for um, cleaning cars. See there's a picture of one on the side there. So that's, that's the pressure washer and you would have a gun like this. And obviously the, the water comes out in a, in a very highly compressed jet. Um, and you can see that these are quite expensive. This, this one's a hundred, 179 pounds. Um, and you've got all different variations of pressure washer here. We have a pressure washer as well for taking to work in a steam cleaner. Um, you can use them for all kinds, cleaning flags, whatever else you want. Here we've got a lawn mower. So this is used for cutting grass. We use these to cut lawn. A lawn is um, is an area of grass that you have outside your house. So we call these like a, this is a this is a lawn mower. Can't see the price tag on this. Should imagine it's quite expensive though. Oh, there we go. So you've got two different prices on there. 248 location B4. Oh, it's because it's two different kinds of lawn mower. So you've got 248 quid and 218 quid. Quite expensive. And you've got all various types. So these ones are um, these ones are petrol lawn mowers. These run off fuel, so we call that a petrol lawn mower. But these this kind over here, the orange ones, um, these ones are electric. So these ones run off electricity. So this is an electric lawn mower. Can't see the price tag on them either. And we've got some yard brushes. These are brushes for the yard. You can tell that because they're the bristles, the bristles on the brush are, are really stiff. Um, yeah. So you can see all these, all these various types of lawnmowers mowers are stacked on top of this, on, on top of each other. So this box is stacked on top of the one underneath. And then this box is stacked on top of that one as well. So the, the, box, the boxes are stacked up. What else we got? Let's have a look over here. Oh, we've got some strimmers. So these are, these are used for cutting the side of the, let's pretend this is some grass. These are used for cutting around the sides. Um, so we call these garden strimmers. So you can see all different kinds. These are the electric ones. So they all run off um, electricity. Let's have a little wonder and see what else we can see. This is such a big shop see all these different kind of light fittings but this is such a big shop you can see all the way down there it's an absolutely massive shop what else we got oh here we've got some um, these uh, they're like a uh, shears for cutting trees for cutting branches off trees so they're shears this is a like a blade saw another kind of saw uh, you've got some axes, so this is an axe, you can see there, you've got um, it's that very sharp, there's an axe, you use that for chopping trees as well. What else, what else, what else? We've got some head shears, so the electric, um, the electric hedge trimmers that I showed you before, this is the manual version, so you just you use them to, to trim the hedges and neaten them up. 
What else? What else? What else? What else? What have we got over here? So we've got, so each one of these is called an aisle. So that's one aisle. That's two aisle. So we'll have a walk down this aisle and see what we can see. Oh, these are great. These are for, these are for cleaning windows. Me and, me and my dad use these at work. So the idea is you fill, you fill the bottom of this with some water and some washing up liquid. You spray it and then you use this to, to kind of clean the window. And then this is a hoover and you switch it on and it, it sucks the air in. So you use the hoover to suck all the water and that you've just cleaned off the window and it leaves it absolutely streak free. Here we've got some bin bags. Oh, there's a few different ways, there's a few different names for these. So you can call them bin bags. We call them bin bags here. Um, or you can call them refuge, refuge sacks or waste sacks. But if you're in England, you call them a bin bag. I've never heard anybody call them anything different actually around here. So yeah, that's, they're all different kinds of bin bags and they vary in size and strength and so on and so forth. Here we've got some, um, these are like carpet cleaning, carpet cleaning products. Carpet is the material that you have over your floor. Vacuum cleaners or hoover, whichever one you want to say. This is a, this is a dustpan and brush. So it's like a, it's a, it comes as a set. So the, this bit that I've got my thumb on here, this is a dustpan and obviously the little bit is the brush. It's used to um, sweep waste off the floor. But um, yeah, so that's a dustpan and brush. Very handy to have in your house. Uh, we'll just leave that there because I can't seem to get it back on top. Then we've got some mop heads. So that's a, a mop head. You can see here there's, um, there's actual full mops. So you've got a mop pole. This will be extendable, adjustable in height. And then on the bottom, you've got a mop head. What else we got? We've got some bins. So that's a bin for in your kitchen. Very shiny, silver, very nice. Then we've got various, um, various kinds of cleaning products here. It looks like the um, shampoos for carpets, various types of containers. So this one's a spray bottle. This one's got a spray with a trigger on it. Um, this one's an aerosol. This one's an aerosol. It's under pressure inside and if you take the cap off, there's like a little spray thing underneath. So this is an aerosol canister. This is a spray bottle and that's just a plastic bottle with an orange top. What else we got? What else? What else? What else? We've got some mop buckets. You can tell these are mop buckets because they've got um, this on top for wringing out the uh, mop once you put it into the into the water. Oh, look at these. These, these are these are. This is a double door. So this is a fire exit, and you can tell that because it's got a fire exit sign on the top. So that's a fire exit sign, and this is a fire exit. It says on the fire exit, keep clear. Um, so in the event of fire. The fire alarm goes off, you just push these two. Here we've got some fire extinguishers. That's a fire extinguisher, so you use them for fighting the fire. If it does, if you do happen to um, have a fire while you're in here. Over here we've got various types of um, extension leads. So this is, these are, this is like a, this is an extension lead um, for power. If the tool you're using can't, you can't reach the nearest, um, the nearest plug socket, then you would use these. You can see they're all different lengths. What's the price tags on these? So you've got 19 quid. This one's 34 quid. That one's 34 quid as well. Some of the smaller ones down there. You've got one down there for eight quid, but that's just a, a really small one. What else we got? What else we got? These are extensions as well. So these are where you can, you, you plug this in um, the plug sockets in the UK, they have three prongs, one, two, three. That's different to most countries I know. So what you do with this, you can turn one plug socket into one, two, three, four. So you plug that in there and then you've turned one plug socket into four. So it's like a, a converter. What else have we got? So we've got, hmm, don't really know. Mechanical daily timer, so that's just a timer that you, you use for something. There's nothing really of much interest. Oh, we've got some telephones. These are like, this is like an old school telephone. I've not seen one of these for a while. 
So this is the this is the actual bit that you use to speak into, and to dial the number, you have to turn it by number. I haven't seen one of these telephones for so long. What else we got? Let's have a look. We've got various different kinds of um, satellite cables. So these are cables with plugs on the end, all different kinds of them. Then we've got, um, these are like fittings for the house, so the like switch sockets. These are, the gray ones are usually used in commercial settings, so in factories and things like that. And then the white ones like this, like this is a double socket with switches on. You can see it says on on the top. So that, that's on, off. But the white ones are for de domestic settings. So guys, I'm gonna walk down the end of this aisle. Don't forget these are called aisles. And you've got different ones. So you've got bronze, bronze effect, um, silver, but you can see they're very shiny because I can actually see my reflection in that. You can see my reflection? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's it for this week's video guys, hope you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you people very very soon, ciao.